Today, online, and now you can get weather and a look at the radar from your cell phone. KETK, it's news and weather you won't see anywhere else. Welcome back, everybody. Seems like just yesterday, almost, I guess, two years ago now, to be exact, Trinity Mother Francis was talking about creating their neonatal intensive care unit. And in fact, this year is their two year anniversary. Well, time flies so when you're having fun and when you're not having fun, when you're working hard like these people are. Dr. Nancy Puster from Trinity Mother Francis uh, Neonatal Intensive Care joins us. Nice to have you here. Thank you. Two years. Yeah. Two years. It goes by just like that, doesn't it? Especially if you're a little kid. And with yeah. us, it, you think, wow, was it really two years ago? And it, for us, well, when we started it, we started in July, so it was about two and a half years. You see tiny, right. tiny right. newborns. Uh, do you get to see some of these kids, doctor, after well, two years two years later? Have you seen, met any of the children? Or you get a chance yeah, to see actually we, we see some of the kids last year at the reunion mm -hmm. um, and uh, we always encourage them to send us photographs and pictures. We really love Christmas cards with photos on them mm -hmm. so we can see how they've grown and then it's not unusual for a couple of times a week we see a mom bringing her baby up to the NICU to so so we can all huddle in love and you know see how they've grown from such a small child a small infant to a, a normal child so well that's fantastic I mean how, how much have you seen the hospital as far as the services you've been able to provide to these patients from before you had the NICU to, to now two years running well, what's really nice is is that, you know, we, we don't have just premature babies. We have term babies mm -hmm. that might have a, a small breathing problem that need an intensive care unit for just a couple of days. And, you know, if, if that had been the case in the past, if they needed some kind of mechanical ventilation, they'd have to go to Dallas. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, if they just had a five-day stay or a seven-day stay, you know, they'd go to the NICU there and their parents would have to drive back and forth where now we can keep them here and then always keep them engaged and then the, the parents can go back to their normal life and then come back and see their baby and then be ready to take them home within the next week. The, well, not to mention the financial toll. There sure. is an emotional sure. toll on, on moms and dads who have to drive back and forth, say, to Dallas. And, and of course, you think about money for hotels and and the worry and the travel uh, this you guys take a lot of that out here in East Texas having this having yeah, this here. it's it's really nice for them because not only do we transfer even the, the smallest ones we can't take care of but a lot of times what happens is the the hospitals will transfer those back for convalescent care mm -hmm. so the babies can work on eating and remembering to eat and breathe at the same time and and then they can stay and complete their their last month or so at our hospital and then that allows the parents not only continue to work um, but not have to drive to Dallas every night or every two nights. They can just come up to our hospital instead. You mentioned earlier sort of the variety of patients that you all see there from, from minor breathe, breathing problems to actually more severe types of problems. W what are sort of the typical patients that you all Our typical see? patients are born usually a month to two months early. Um, they come in uh, in labor with their um, uh, obstetrician. We ideally would like to go and talk to them before the delivery so we can kind of tell them how it goes play by play so there's not any real significant surprises that they need to worry about. Um, explain to them the delivery process, uh, what happens after the delivery, and then who gets taken to the neonatal intensive care unit and how we base that decision. So um, on the babies that are born 32 to 36 weeks, it's not unusual. They have breathing problems right from the get-go and they need some kind of resuscitation in the delivery room. They may need a breathing tube. They may need a breathing machine. Um, and then those babies get shown to their families and then transported to the intensive care unit so we can continue to stabilize them. Um, and then usually if there's a, a support person at bedside, we take them with us. So the mom can't leave, but we take whoever in the room with us and then they can, they can be there while we do the stabilization and then we can kind of update them as we go on what's really going on and what our concerns are. And then introduce them to not only the rooms, but to the equipment that we're using. You know, volunteers in General East Texas played, played a large role in getting this thing started. If, 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 you, if you want to help, still, you can. How can people, if they want to get involved in neonatal intensive care and, and helping you guys, what do we do? Well, there's a website. It's uh, tmfhc.org uh, backslash NICU. Um, and so if you go on there, it tells you about the NICU. It introduces you to some of the people that work there. And you know what's really nice is it's not only the volunteers in the community that's made such a significant difference, but also the employees. You know, I've never been to a facility where I was so stunned by what the donations just from the employees were in making this happen. And, and you just don't see that. You don't see that kind of belief system where people really believe, you know, I really like where I work. I like where I live. This is where I want to keep my family, and this is where I want to grow my family. So I want to make sure that we have the best facilities possible. 
um, that that doesn't always happen. You know, people go, oh, you work at so and so. Would you really want to be there? Mm -hmm. And it's like, yes, I would. My friends, my colleagues are there. Well, so some great work that you all are doing over there. Congratulations on two years and counting. Dr. Thank Nancy you Buzzer, very much. For by. Nice to see you. Thank you. All right, when we come back, we'll take another look outside at Katie's forecast. Rain still in the forecast, too, and it's getting a little bit.